hypothesis testing the Man Whitney U test. Some exam questions, like this one here, are very clear as to what test you are to apply to the data. In uh, this example here, it's the Man Whitney U test. We have two samples which are not paired. And an easy way to tell that they're not paired, the sample size for A and B is different. There's more values here for A than for B. In uh, this example, the question says uh, carry out a distribution free test. So that could be a contingency table, it could be um, uh, a Wilcoxon test, sign test, Man Whitney U, Chris Colvadis H test. It could be any one of these. Now it's not a Chris Colvadis test because you need three or more samples, so that one's eliminated. It's not a contingency test because the data is not in that form, in that kind of table that you need for a contingency table test. Uh, this could be a Man Whitney U test because we have two samples. But one of the main criteria for a Man Whitney U test is that the samples must not be paired. So if we look at the details in this question, uh, there's uh, data for 12 new cars. Six are fitted with a new device, and the other six are not fitted with the new device. So we've got 12 cars, six are in one category, and the other six are in this second category here. And this data is not paired. One other clue to look out for is uh, if the data was in paired, you might have uh, labels on the top like car number one and the data for car one, car number two, then you've got the data here for car number two, then that would be for three and four and so on. And that doesn't apply here. There are no labels along here. So from the context of the problem, uh, we can see we have two unpaired samples. So this has to be a Man Whitney U test. Uh, here's another example where the question is saying carry out a non-parametric test. From page 14 in the formula book, uh, distribution free or non-parametric tests include these, contingency tables, Wilcoxon test, Man Whitney U, Chris Wallis test, and also the sign test, which is not listed here. So it's talking about one of these. For us to carry out a uh, Man Whitney U test, we need two unpaired samples. Now, looking at the table here, we've got some uh, data values along here, and we can see that there are two samples here. There's the sample for the morning shift, represented by M. So, wherever you see M, that's one sample and we have data for the afternoon shift so wherever you see the letter A that's the second sample so we can see how two samples which are unpaired according to the context of uh, this problem here that they've been merged into a single row of data but the labels here show that there are two samples. Sample, uh, the first sample represented by M for morning and the second one represented by A for the afternoon shift. So it's a Man Whitney U test that needs to be applied to this data. Now the sign test and the Wilcoxon test also use two samples but we know it's not going to be one of those two because the samples here are not paired. Plus, if you were thinking that, it, could it be Man Whitney U? Could it be Sign Test? Could it be the Wilcoxon Test? Because they all use um, or can use two samples. It's not going to be the Sign Test or the Wilcoxon Test, because uh, if the data was paired, so if it was paired, then they would have to give you further information as to which test to carry out. Would it be the sign test or the Wilcoxon test? And 
it's very common in the exam papers that when they say like a non-parametric test or a distribution free test and there's two samples it's going to be the Man Whitney U test that they want you to carry out. In this problem here we need to carry out a distribution free test again. Uh, there are two samples in the table so we know it can't be a Chris Scott Wallace test you would need at least three samples in that one. Uh, it's not going to be a sign test, it's not going to be a Wilcoxon test uh, there isn't enough information in the table to do any of those two. Looking at the context we've got two processes A and B that are used um, in the production of uh, an alloy 10 are selected from process A and 10 are selected from process B there's no way that the data here is paired so we know it's not the sign test, it's not the Wilcoxon test you would need more information on those to show that was the data was paired and clearly it's not so those two are eliminated as well which leaves the uh, Man Whitney U test the data is definitely not something for a contingency table test either it's not in that form so we have just one option the Man Whitney U test and just one last uh, example on uh, distribution free tests again two samples here we have from the context uh, seven men who were given a caffeine capsule before the test and another seven a different seven who received a placebo capsule so these values here have got nothing to do with these seven values here which means the data is not paired so it's a Man-Whitney-U test.